All right, so our next example. For the function f whose graph is shown, state the following. The limit of the function f of x as x approaches negative 7. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to write out this, our mnemonics. So left is negative, so like that. And rp, right is positive. So now we know what, what symbol means what. All right, so... Let's take a look right here again from the left hand side. No, it, it doesn't say any side. It just says negative 7. So if it doesn't give us an indication of what side to go, we need to take a look at both the sides and decide if this is true or not. So let's see. As, it, as we approach from the left hand side, which is this side, it appears it's going to infinity. And as we approach from the right hand side, it appears that it's going to infinity. So the answer will be negative infinity, right? Because this is negative. Now don't don't forget to put the negative because you'll get it wrong. Alright, negative three. So the same thing as this question. So it appears that it's going up from the left hand side, and it appears it's going up infinitely from the right hand side, so it'll just be infinity. Negative infinity up here. So make sure you write that right. Alright, so limit of the function as x approaches zero. So another question that says the same thing. So the left hand side appears it goes to infinity. From the right hand side it appears like it's going to infinity. So the answer would be infinity. So the limit of the function of f of x as x approaches 6 from, let's take a look right here. What does that mean? The left hand side. So that means we're going to go this way. So let's take a look. So if we're going from the left hand side, we're going that way. And then we're going this way. And it appears to me that we're going to negative infinity. And so you just write that out for our answer. Alright, so now our next question is asking us the limit of a function as x approaches 6 from, it appears, the right hand side. So from the right hand side, let's take a look. If you're going this way, so that's the right hand side, and then we go up. It appears that it's going to, if you guessed it, infinity. Alright, so the equation of the vertical asymptotes. So it's now it's asking us to find our vertical asymptotes. And if you remember what the definition of finding a vertical asymptote for a limit is if any of these statements are true, then there has to be a vertical asymptote. As we approach x, and so you don't really have to think that much for these because it already gives you your x's. So if this is an infinity, you already know that's that this is our vertical asymptote. Now, depending on your professor, they might want you to, to draw the vertical asymptotes. So I'm going to draw it for you guys so you can see the vertical asymptotes. And I'm going to write out the answers. So, you know, so, so how many vertical asymptotes we have? We have four. Alright, the equation of the vertical asymptotes. And so all we gotta write out is x equals two. So we already have them given, so we don't even have to think that much. It says negative seven. X equals negative three. As you can see on the graph where these um, bluish lines are going through. I don't know if it's blue, green, blue. Let's see right here. X equals zero so and sometimes as you can see right here that they repeat themselves and so you only need to write it out once right you don't need to write it out multiple times because then that'll be wrong and don't get confused that this means negative that means left hand side this means right hand side negative will be in front all the time right and that's why I the symbols are written behind it. So that would be our answer for vertical asymptotes. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot and it will help my channel grow. And I make content every day and I'm hoping to grow my channel slowly but surely. So see you guys next time. Bye.